Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting updates coming from the folks at Epic Games and this has to do with the fact that Odoo is now free for Unreal Engine users. And for those who don't know, Odoo is a tool set that was part of the Rad Game Tools that just recently joined the Epic Games family. Now, Odoo is a tool set that you can use for cross-platform data compression and this has some very incredible performances for those who like to create games as this goes through to make the game smaller to download. And on the other hand, in terms of transfer data across a network it simply compresses your network packets for improved player experience and this is one of those tools that can help you get a better experience when playing your games that so just in case you want to read more about it you want to see some of the other tool sets from the folks at rad i'm going to put a link in the description that'll take you over to this page where you can read more about the blink video you can read about the telemetry and so on and so forth meanwhile if you want to get this this is currently free on github via you know the unreal connection and just in case you have no idea how to get this and maybe you want to read more about this for you to get started all you need to do is simply get a github account all right so you need to get a github account else if you don't have that and you proceed to download you would get this page and once you get this page and you click on the github page where you can get the unreal engine stuff you'd also be presented with this so how do you save yourself of all of these things First off, you need to get an Unreal Engine account and then you need to get a GitHub account. And once you get these two accounts, what you need to do, you need to go over to your Unreal Engine account, go all the way to where you have connections and then you can go all the way to account and connect your GitHub account. Now, failure to connect your GitHub account simply means you would not be able to have access to that GitHub page. But then if you simply do that, you would now be able to have the access right here. And from here, you can download this and also test this out. Although the folks at Epic Games are saying that the current tool set is available, but for those that would like to work with it, and for those who are new users that would like to try out the OD, that this currently will be coming with Unreal Engine 4.27. And for those who would like to also test this out later in future, this is also going to be shipping with Unreal Engine 5. So it's very interesting to see that the folks at Epic Games, when they purchase tools like this, they try as much as possible to incorporate it with their tool set and potentially make this things for free. So currently it says that the binary support for Ori will become available in Unreal Engine 4.27 and also Unreal Engine 5. So for those who want to read more about these things, you want to catch up with it, you want to see more about the OD data compression, the texture compression, the network compression, and also the lossless image compression, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can come through and read this out for yourself and also learn more about all of the developments that is going on with both the folks at Epic and also how you can get on to the GitHub and get more of the things that folks at Epic Games are providing for free for Unreal Engine users. And one of the cool things with connecting your GitHub to the Epic Games account means that you have access to a long and a wide range of pretty cool stuff that the folks at Epic Games are actually releasing. And one of the cool things with connecting your GitHub to your Epic Games account simply means that you will have access to a wide range of things that will be available in the future and that is currently available from the folks at Epic Games. So in terms of things that they've already made free that exists within their GitHub, you'll be able to have access to these things and some of these things you may probably not be able to access them you may probably not be able to use them unless you go through and get it failure to do that you always be presented with this page and this is probably something you wouldn't want to be faced with especially when you really want to make use of a certain tool or a certain service that they are currently or will be providing later in the future so this is more like it and of course for those who like to take a look at this link to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and i'd like to see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace